bit of an unconventional jungler is Mordekaiser, but he's actually pretty good. He clears the jungle really, really fast. Uh, and has quite strong 1v1s too. He's just a good, like, bruiser mage, which uh, as an archetype is something that is quite rare, I guess. Um, I didn't buy a potion, so that was definitely intentional. Rune spot on left, we've got our Conqueror, which stacks up with... Has been a god IRL. We've got a Conqueror, which stacks up with our, uh, sort of like, this damage, not damage over time, but like consistent damage, I guess. Uh, and especially when you get Rift Maker as well. Synergizes really nicely there too. How are Maud's ganks pre-ult? Yeah, his ganks kind of suck. Honestly. His ganks are pretty awful. Um, yeah. <laughs> They're just garbage. So, you just walk up to people, basically. And as you can imagine, that has its downsides. It's why you take Ghost. A little bit of a uh, piece of advice for clearing his mod as well. Your W, you can activate it to give yourself a shield. You can then double, like reactivate it to, to heal yourself. But you only heal for a percentage that the shield would give you. So if you're just using it as a shield, you're going to save more health than if you use it as a heal. Only use it as a heal if you're like now, for example, if I was running, run, you know, like I'm not going to be fighting a camp, so I could maybe like you know, consume the stacks, but while I'm still clearing, I would not be doing that. Let's pop ghosts and go a little bit ham here. I think Jace is going to try and kill Fiora, so. Oh my god. I am a god. Beautiful. Because it can be sometimes a little bit difficult to hit your skill shots in situations like that. All I did there is throw my skill shots at Fiora. <laughs> the reason why throwing at Fiora works is because we know the enemy team was like mega, mega tunnel visioned onto trying to kill Fiora. So wherever Fiora goes, the enemy bot lane is probably going to go too. Uh, what am I talking about? The enemy team, you know, whoever it was there. Jason and uh, Echo. Yeah, they're, they're probably going to... Yeah, they're running at Fiora, so I just aim my skill shots at Fiora and I'm probably going to hit the bad guys. Nice hook. Very good. Let's shadow bot side here in case Echo shows up. Though if he does, I don't think he's going to do too much. Rampage. Don't know where he is, but he just took that crab, so... Yeah. What is it with these Threshes in your game recently? I love it, man. Thresh is such a fun champion. I love it when Thresh is meta. Like, one of the few supports that has really... Clear skill of skill expression. I'm not doing Nash's tooth this game, even though it works really well with your on hit, your passive hit. But it is just a little bit greedy, so I'm not gonna do it. Enemy team has a lot of damage. I don't know if it would be a good idea. It's like here I can use my W as a heal. Since I'm running in between camps here. So it would expire anyway. What about Lich? Lich Pain? Mm. No, I don't, I don't think so. I'd rather get Nash's Tooth than Lich Pain. Let's 
push this wave. When's Harold up? 1 minute 24. Hmm. I'm not going to lie, I thought it would be up sooner than this. I've kind of just stolen this from Fiora now. You can maybe go for an invader to get some vision down or something. Iron liberates. Maybe I'll look at mid here. No camps are up. Feels bad, man. I don't think this is gankable here, but we'll try regardless. Okay. Turns out it's pretty gankable. I'm actually huge. Got the same farm as Echo. But we've got four extra kills, so it's not bad to be honest. I think he's taken this bot crab. So I'm not going to be able to do too much about that. I'd like to. S oh, he hasn't taken it yet. Excellent. So I'll take this and then recall. Whoops. And we can get our Rift Maker. Oh, come off it. This crab. This crab is something else. You want to do it? I be them with thee. Let's get my sweeper up and running here as well. Could have done this in my first recall if I wanted to. But Good shockwave. on the castle there. That's fine. We got our Rift Maker. I am actually massive. Can we take Dragon here? I'm level 7. I think maybe I wait for Thrash to come back. Uh, maybe I should have just done it. Ez was ready. Ez was ready to come up and help us there. Should have gone for it. An ally has been slain. Maybe if I get three kills top, Fiora will be able to play. Let's pull it out a little bit here. Just a little bit. Doesn't make too much difference, honestly, versus Echo. Echo can get into the pit regardless, but it's not warded, so that's good. Who's that? That's a Sightstone Ward, so that's Bard's Ward. I'm gonna combo my Q with my Smite here. When you combo an ability with your Smite, it ex essentially, not really, but essentially extends your Smite's damage. So if I let my Q go through and then press Smite at the same time, instead of just having like 900 damage on my Smite, I'm able to chunk things down from like 1100. So it reduces the chances of it getting stolen. Cassio, I see this, bro. Is Ariana around here? I think she reset, maybe. Mm. Yeah, okay. Ariana went bot. Nice. Let's just pick this up then. Jace has warded River. We don't need to... To go top, really. Let's just take Harold. Nice Fiora, obviously. It's been getting solo killed all game, so clearly it's now her time to get the solo kill. 200 gold? I've been conned. That used to be 300 gold. Let's just slam this down mid and get some gold here. 700 on Ezreal. Okay. Huh. Nice trying to do it. 
One more plate. Nice. So that extra plate there, because it wasn't a Shelly charge, I'm actually not in range to pick it up. Which means it's a solo plate for Cass. And to be honest, I'm cool with that. We put the Shelly down, get some plates. I get like one. I think it was only one. Yeah, it was only one plate. So I get a plate, and then Cass gets a solo plate. So we're spreading the love around. I don't mind giving extra gold to my team, obviously. It makes my life easier as a jungler when these guys are strong. So this ward in the river is probably going to expire soon, but I think it's still up. We'll check it, though. Oh, he's put a new one in. Duh. <laughs> what was that? Duh. Excellent cost of living crisis, I know, honestly. If I had to put the uh, the tax on the Shelly up. I mean, it's just demonic embrace, isn't it? We get health, we get AP. It's all good. How come no one buys pink wards? Uh, well, vision, if you're not a jungler or support, tends to be quite neglected, to be honest. So. <laughs> yeah, they don't do damage. I mean, exactly. This guy gets it. Can I just run bot here, maybe? I don't know if this blast comes up, but I hope it is. Excellent. Death to salvation. Death to salvation. I'm gonna throw my ear in case she wants to ult. This is a bit awkward, isn't it? An ally has been slain. Shut down. Very high damage stats. Was he worth any gold? Not really. It's uh, even though I don't like running past scuttle crabs, but I'll do it here to just run into mid. So you guys are inting mid. For me going bot there is not a bad play. Legendary. The thing that is underappreciated here Is that Ez by himself doesn't need help, but the way that we keep Ez going in this game is by playing around him. So that's what we do. Yeah, unlocking that bot tower means he can now go mid as well. So now we get mid tower. It's honestly, yeah, definitely what we want to do here. Shut down. Good hook. Your team has destroyed. 
Am I going to watch Worlds? Yeah. I was co-streaming the uh, the play-ins. It was good fun. Apart from the time. My asthma is actually broken. Uh, I'm trolling, by the way. Or am I? <laughs> uh, that I, I I shouldn't have ulted him there at all. <laughs> ulting him there, making it a one v one when I'm like forty percent HP and I have teammates around me, probably isn't a good idea. But obviously, generally speaking, going for yeah, popping someone into your into the shadow realm as Mordekaiser is is good. That was a pretty wild game, I'm not going to lie. We did some pretty wild things. <laughs>